So welcome to the third project. Um, this is a very quick project and it's just an example of recursion. Recursion is when you create a function and then call that function itself. So um, I'm just going to jump into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function for you and it should be a pretty familiar function, one that we did before. So the block that I'm going to make is a motion block and it's going to be draw circle. But this time I'm going to call it recursive. So draw circle recursive. And it again is going to have a size. Um, now, what I'm going to do is the exact same function I did last time, which is I'm going to say pen down. And I'm going to motion. Um, oh no, I have to do this first. Control repeat 360 times. And I'm going to move, and I'm going to move size steps, and I'm going to turn one degree. Oops, cancel. Uh, one degree, and then I'm going to say pen up. Okay, so far so good. We've seen that before. So I'm going to now hit OK. And if I go to motion, I have a draw circle recursive. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this now. And I'm going to add a couple new little steps, which is I'm going to add a control statement. And I'm going to say if operator um, size minus, no, I'm just going to say um, if size is greater than zero, if size is greater than zero, then I'm going to do something very cool. I'm going to call the function again, but this time I'm going to use size minus one as my input. Oops. Size minus one. So I'm calling the function again each time it does this. So it draws the circle and then it goes, hey, is the circle bigger than zero? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Draw the circle again, one size smaller. Check out what this does. So here's my function and I'm going to draw a circle recursive, but I'm going to say 15 is my size. And there it goes. And now it's going to draw it again and again. And it's going around and around. But do you notice anything funky happening over here? Perhaps you do. Oh, this is starting to get cool. Each time it's drawing, it's drawing circle 15, and then 14, and then 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1 is last. And it's going to end up with this kind of cool pattern. And you may remember why it's so slow, because drawing the circle is slow. And that last one is circle 0, so it's actually not really drawing anything. If I do it again, it'll make this one, it might even see a little bit more. It starts to get all like 70s artsy crazy on you. This is an example of recursive programming. It's called basically calling the function again from within the function. So um, just with this one little function, I'm able to do all this really cool drawing. Now, it's more of a thought exercise than anything else because recursive programming actually is not something you do that often, but it's really cool and it makes for really cool spirals. And so I thought of it tonight and I thought, I should show the class. How cool is this? And they'll think I'm such a cool nerd. <laughs> okay, so that's it for that whole project. Um, and I'm done.